Trailering your horse safely is gonna be one of the most important skills that you and your horse are gonna to need to own. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all the ins and outs of making sure you and your horse get to where you need to be safely. Let's jump into it. So over the years, one of the things I've learned about horses and people, the more control the person has over the horse, the better the person feels. But for the horse, the more control we have over them, the worse they feel. So what I'm getting at is when you're hauling an inexperienced horse that does not have much trailering time, um, you want to help them get co as comfortable in the trailer as possible. And so in my opinion, the way to do that is to haul them in either a stock type trailer or a horse trailer like this one where we took the divider out, we pushed the tack room to the side, and now I can haul my horse loose. That's right, I said loose. We're gonna take the halter off the horse. Once they're in the trailer, we're gonna let them turn around and look around, and that is gonna help your horse relax in the trailer the most. Let me show you what I mean. So you're gonna bring your horse into the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her around. See, most horses, if given the opportunity, they will turn around in the trailer so that they can face out. So then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the doors. Sage is going, I haven't been hauled like this since I was a baby, what's going on here? So then I would go ahead and untie that horse, take the halter all the way off so there's nothing for them to hook themselves on. You know, if you wanna have hay and water buckets in there, you can. Go ahead and close this. And this is how I would haul a horse who is inexperienced being hauled, loose. It's the safest way to do it by far. They'll balance themselves while you're driving down the road. And most importantly, they're gonna get comfortable in that trailer and you're not gonna teach them to paw and to be bothered and be uncomfortable when being hauled. So maybe, you know, three, four, five times I'd haul them like this and then we could start putting them in a trailer with dividers and closing it. Now I understand all trailers are different. Um, I'm just gonna kinda give you some, a variety of tips. The number one most important thing to think about is making sure your horse is choosing and willing to go in that trailer and stand there quietly with nothing holding them in. Um, that's what you want, you want, you want your base starting point for hauling them to be. Okay, so when you get to where you gotta go and you're ready to unload your horse, you're gonna go ahead and open up one door here you know, if you had a really green horse, obviously somebody, a friend could hold the door for you or something. Um, Sage has a bit more experience than that. So I'll just step in here, put the halter on her. And we'll go ahead and just walk her off. So one of the important rules about hauling your horse is that you wanna always have the divider closed before you tie them in. So what you don't wanna do is lead your horse in and clip them to a trailer tie or tie them up without the divider being shut because if your horse decides to back out of the trailer while they're tied and they can back out because the divider is not holding them in, you have a really strong risk of that horse panicking, scrambling in the trailer and I've seen multiple horses flip over coming out of a trailer. And you know, it's a really unfortunate thing and you can have a horse that you can tie them in the trailer and it could go great a hundred times, but that hundred and first time when it doesn't go great for whatever reason, you're going to wish that you had closed that divider first. So I'm going to show you how I, how I like to do it. Now, normally the trailer isn't all the way opened up like this, but we're showing you this so you guys can see clearly in the video. So I'm going to bring my horse in the trailer. I'm going to run my lead rope through the front ring here. So I have a point of, of contact up here with them and then I'm going to step back here so I can keep my horse's nose tipped in and then I'm going to shut the divider here. So now my horse is in the trailer and then I'll take my lead rope and I'll run it over here, make sure it's adjusted correctly where there's not too much slack in it. And then for me, a lot of times I'll just use these blocker ties and I'll put it on. Now I'll do that with an experienced horse so they're not tied solid in the trailer. If they were to ever fall out of the trailer or fall out of the trailer, if they were to fall down or you know something, a wreck happened, um, they're there. Because for, for, for my horse, she's been hauled a lot. She knows how to stand in the divider. She's not gonna try to go under it. That is just gonna guide her head and keep her head forward, okay? So in other words, it's not that important the fact that she's tied. What's important is that the divider's closed. If I have a greener horse, I will go ahead and tie them because I wanna make sure that that young horse doesn't try to stick its head under the divider, doesn't try to 
back up on, you know, doesn't try to do anything weird in here, right? So now I'll tie a knot to this one. So I'll put my rope through here, wrap it around, do a figure eight around the lead rope here. We have other videos on YouTube on how to tie this knot. This is called the bank robber's knot. And then I would leave her, leave her here like this if she was by herself. If, she was, if there was another horse in this stall, I would put another lock on that like that. And now we're good to go. So when I'm ready to unload her, this is the key, key point to pay attention to. I get where I'm going, I open the trailer up, and I got my horse here. I'm not going to open this up first. Okay, I'm going get to get her untied first. So I'm going to come up here, go ahead and untie her. Again, we got videos out there on how to do that knot. Let my lead rope down. Now I'm gonna check, I'm gonna wait to, un, to let her out when, until she's standing quiet. If she's pushing on this and really anxious to get out, I'm gonna just wait a moment until she's standing quietly. Then I'm gonna open this up and make sure that I'm not standing right here if she decided to come out faster than I was ready for. Now, if she did decide to come out quickly, um, she's not tied here, so now she could just back out, that would be fine. But ideally, I would get up here by her head and I'm not going to let her back out until I ask her to. This is where a horse rushing out of the trailer starts is that horse wants to come out, everything's open. The human didn't say come out yet, but the horse starts backing out and the person just goes along with it, okay? We wanna be patient here and bring them forward and say, hey, just wait, be patient. Don't back out until I ask you to back out. That's the key. The other pro tip here that's really important because I think horse, more horses get hurt coming out of the trailer than they do coming into the trailer. Once you're out of the trailer, if that horse was in a hurry to come out, now she was not in a hurry, okay? So the reason she's not in a hurry is because every time I unload her, we keep backing up. We continue to back up until I feel her asking, can I stop backing? This is a really important tip. It doesn't matter where I'm at, what I'm doing. When, I, when she gets out of the trailer, we're gonna keep on backing up so that she doesn't think, get out of the trailer and eat grass or get out of the trailer and get relief. You know, because as soon as that pattern starts, it, it the, the, a lot of times the, the big problem, that the big blow up that happened, it started with that horse learning a bad thought along the way. So the whole, the whole idea of an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure really plays, plays well here. So this is how I unload them. I back them out and then I keep backing so that my horses don't get in a hurry to rush out of that trailer. Really important tip. So let's just take a second here quick and let's talk about windows. I love having these windows because I can water my horse safely from outside the trailer if I'm on a long trip. But I see a lot of people, they, they pull into a gas station somewhere and they go ahead and they open this up and that horse sticks their head out the window and the person walks away, does whatever they got to do. I personally have seen, not mine, but three other people's horses come out of the trailer this way. Once that horse puts their head through it, if they don't like it in the trailer, they could decide they are coming out. So I only open this window if I'm standing right here, I'm reading my horse, making sure they're calm and quiet, keeping them in. I tell this to people all the time and people don't believe me because they haven't seen it for themselves. But I have seen many horses come out of a window this big on a trailer by just getting head first. A lot of people don't realize horses don't have a collarbone. They do not have a collarbone. So their, their shoulders and everything is just held up by muscles, which means that they can kind of contort themselves and they can get through a much smaller space than what you think they can. So when you're hauling your horse on a long trip and you gotta water them and you gotta look after them and have these windows down, um, keep an eye on making sure they're, they're quiet in there. Just be around here. Otherwise, if you gotta go to the next horse, Put your window back up. <clears throat> Put your window back up, make sure that horse is secure before you go to the next one. So now I'm gonna talk about what, and now I don't have a straight load trailer, but we're gonna talk about straight load trailers. Straight load trailers are a pretty common type of trailer. It's kind of how the trailers were originally made. And then they started changing them to slant load trailers. And they found that horses actually didn't prefer to ride facing forward. They prefer the side or actually facing backward in a trailer. So nothing wrong with hauling your horse in a straight load. It's just not what they really prefer. So horses can be a little bit more tricky to, to get in the trailer and stay in the trailer on a straight load. So I'm gonna show you what I would do if I was hauling her in a straight load. So if this was a straight load trailer, you're gonna have to imagine with me here. We've kind of narrowed it up here and she's got a load here. 
Now, the thing about a straight load trailer is, in order for you to close that horse in the trailer, you have to be behind the horse to raise that butt bar up, okay? So what I'm gonna do um, to show you this is, I'm gonna load her and from the outside of the trailer. So what I would do is I would practice teaching your horse to go into the trailer from a send, throw the lead rope over them, and then I'm gonna lift the butt bar up here and shut them in, okay? So that's the important thing with a straight load is that you can be back here and your horse sends in so that your horse isn't just following you into the trailer. I normally load mine by them following me, but if I had a straight load, step forward there, girl. Um, I would make sure I'm back here putting the divider in so I could do it by myself in an emergency if I had to. This is about prior preparation, setting it up for success. Don't wait until you're late for a show or for the vet or for wherever you got to do. Make sure that you've practiced ahead of time, got your horse really comfortable in that trailer <laughs> and stay in there. She's, she's about had enough of trail loading. So we're going to call the video good there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoy these videos and you want to see more great content, and if you want to ask me specific questions about your horse and get an almost immediate response, join my Patreon page. I'd be happy to help you guys with your horses and show you more great videos.